Football is family. That may sound cliche, but at Navy, this brotherhood extends way beyond the days on the gridiron. You know, you really care about about the men that have gone before you, uh, the men that have come behind you. You need something and talk to somebody in, in 10, 15 years, be ready to do whatever they can for you at the, at the drop of a hat. John Vereen was a member of the Navy football team in the late 90s, rushing for 399 yards in 1999. However, what he remembers most is the bonds with his teammates. The friendship, camaraderie uh, that is formed, forged, if you will, uh, by one another. That, that's, you know, the definition of my brotherhood. And that's the thing that will always stick out to every last one of us, if you ask me. Now living outside Birmingham, Alabama, his life changed in an instant on January 25th. So uh, it was about uh, 1045 was when, when I guess the, the tornado, was the F3, uh, came through our, our, our community. So I'm driving home, uh, and I finally get a phone call uh, from my mom. And she's cool as a fan, man. She said, hey, John, power, power went out. I got hit by a tornado. Sounded like a bus up. And I'm like, excuse me? Got hit by a tornado. Sound like, how long ago? Like five minutes ago? Fortunately, everyone inside his house was safe. However, his home had extensive water damage and the tornado ripped off the front of the house. Man, it's, uh, it is, it makes you feel really, really hopeless. We don't understand the mercy uh, yeah, that we, we have uh, when you look at the destruction. When I pulled into his neighborhood, it was like nothing I would have imagined. Enrico Hunter, Cecil Fletcher, and Manny Metcalf were part of a group who drove down to help their former teammate. When we got off the highway, we saw some damage on the main road, and we're like, oh man, wow. But we made when we made that left down his street, um, yeah, that's nothing, I, it's kind of hard to explain that that visual, it's, yeah. Like you would never imagine that, you know, yesterday you had a neighborhood and today you got piles of wood. You, you couldn't tell me if I didn't know the story that hundreds of people didn't die, if not thousands, that's the way it looked. I mean, you had houses that literally had one wall standing. Moments like this show the true meaning of the Navy Brotherhood. It was the same thing I would do for my blood family. Having people there, you know, uh, I knew that that would be important. That's kind of what it's all about, too. I mean, I guess that's, as long as we've known each other, that's what we've been doing. Um, taking care of each other in one way or the other, where the, whether it had been in, in Bancroft or on the field, that's how we kind of met each other was, you know, watching, uh, watching each other's backs. John Vereen is currently rebuilding his home. But no matter what else happens in life, he knows Navy football has his back. I don't deserve it. Like, you know, it's, but, you know, at the same time, we, I would do the same exact thing for them. That's literally what they were doing, man. They, they were picking me up. For Navy Sports, I'm Phil Bergman.